Heart of Oak, they never say die, and they've not been saying die for 109 years. Can this finally be the year where they break that 10 year drought of not winning the Ghana Premier League? Well, the fight starts this weekend when they travel all the way to Doma to face Adriana Stars. But in case you did not hear well, there was a little teaser in there, and that has to do with the fact that an, you know, a great Olympics fan actually wrote the anthem of an Accra Heart of Folk fire of the of Accra Heart of Folk. So you do want to get the full story when the documentary airs 8 a.m. live here on the AM show. So do not move an inch. But let's move to some more stories, but still in the Ghana Premier League. And this time we travel all the way to Dan Suman to Liberty, who are fine-tuning their preparations ahead of their opening game against Bicham United. Joy Sports Nathaniel Ato was at the car end of park yesterday. Well, they've done their bit when it comes to writing the big script of Ghana football. And this is simply because they've produced some wonderful talents that have gone to the greater benefit of Ghana as a nation. I can immediately refer to the FIFA World Cup in Germany 2006, which was Ghana's maiden appearance. This club, Liberty Professionals, from Karl Reindorf Park in Dansuman, produced some notable stars in that very big squad back in 2006. Well, in terms of the achievements on the local scene, Liberty Professionals have one top four title to their credit. And this they won some 13 years ago when they had some big and committed players. Well, years on, Liberty Professionals want to get back to that skin of old days. And of course, they have a technical leadership and an administration that are looking forward to ensuring this with a lot of energy and with a lot of willpower. This is a special with Liberty Professionals by Joy Sports ahead of the Ghana Premier League season. My name is Nathaniel Atto, and you're all welcome. All right, so I've been joined uh, by a striking sensation from the second tier of football who looks forward to making even bigger impact in the first tier in the coming season. I'm talking about Emmanuel Paga. He is a big sensation from Vision FC, having scored nine goals in 11 games in the last season that he played for uh, Vision FC. Uh, he finds himself now with the scientific soccer lads and is looking forward to great things in the coming season. How are you doing, my brother? I'm good. Mm. Good to see you. Thanks. Mm. How has training been so far? Oh, training is good. Yeah, training is good, yeah. I see. Um, tell me about the kind of reception that you got when you, you were signed on and you started uh, work with Liberty Professionals. I was feeling good. I was feeling happy. When I'm moving here, well, I was told by my manager that like, I had a contract with Liberty, they called my team, and blah, blah, blah. I was not sure because I wanted to, I w was thinking I'll go back to Vision to train. So my manager called me that day what is going on, this, what is on board. And I said, man, I, mean, I don't know anything. So I was there when I had a call from Liberty Professional and they told me that they have spoke with my manager and my team, my club, so I was supposed to report. So when I heard the news, I was happy. Finally, your personal target for the season, you are a striker and your work is to score goals. Oh, my target is, ah, a lot. I personally, I want to like, I don't know how to get the word out to say. I want to be like the head. Okay. I want to fight. Yeah, I want to fight that. If anywhere they will mention about, they will call about strikers, I will be there. I will be ahead of them. Because this is, it will be very challenging because our keep striker, top striker, Baby Jet is in the league. And me, I'm competing with Baby Jet, not because of this and that. Because that's my target. Yeah, if I do, my best, yeah, if I do my best in the Premier League, it's like it's good for me and it's good for my video and it's good for my my staffs. Yeah. I see. All right. So Baby Jet is the inspiration and the target. Yeah. 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 We are still here spending time with our friends at Liberty Professionals and of course after a very comprehensive training session uh, we're spending a bit of time with uh, coach David Oklu who is spending uh, a third season here as head coach. Of course he's also full of energy and full of big ideas as we go into the season as they get themselves ready to face and welcome Bichem United to this ground hopefully after it's been cleared uh, ready for use by the club licensing committee. Coach thank you very much. It's 
it's good to see you again. Thank you too. Good to see you. Now, um, tell me about the mood in camp. I mean, I, I saw you today. We were observing, you know, how training was going and everything. Um, tell me generally how the, the mood is like and how the psyche is like in camp. I think Mora is very high. The boys are very enthusiastic. They are ready to play. And you can see from the drills we do that they are all willing to, to work. And I, I'm impressed. I like the way the mood is. Uh, coach, what are some of the biggest lessons that you learned during uh, the last season, which unfortunately was truncated due to COVID-19? It's like uh, we were not consistent. Uh -huh. But this time, I think we've learned from the past how uh, we should cope with the pressure. Because uh, during the truncated season, after, let's say, five or matches, and fatigue also set in, and, you know, the boys were a bit tired so this time we are adjusting things to see how best they will come out and play all right coach we'd like to say a very big thank you to you and um let's uh, hope for the best your final words uh i'll, I'll urge all liberty professional supporters to come into the pit this time we are doing something exceptional something exciting they're going to see a free free flowing football they're going to see more attacking football so they should come and experience it <laughs> of course this is a sacred ground when it comes to ghana football simply because when ghana qualified for the first fifa world cup in 2006 some of the biggest stars came from here you could easily name Sule ali montari michael essien and a Samoajan who's making a return to the Ghana Premier League this season. Well, this is the home of scientific soccer in Ghana. And we're all looking forward to seeing how much of that scientific soccer will be put on display when these boys, the Liberty boys, go up against Bechim United. My name is Nathaniel Atto. It's been great sharing your company. And all I can say is, Liberty Professionals! <laughs> Well, that was Liberty Professionals and my colleague Nathaniel Arto bringing us up to date on how preparations are going for the first game against Bechem United. Well, if you've been following Joy Sports across social media and been an active user of the My Joy Online Sports page, you would have realized that in the past 10 days, we have been doing a specific countdown. Now, the name of this series is the Black Stars 10 series, and we've been outdooring the best 10 talent that the Ghana national team has seen in the past 20 years as we get to the end of the second decade. And basically this idea was to celebrate these stars and not to necessarily create controversy online as we believe that, you know, you need to celebrate people whilst they are alive. So each of the past 10 days, we have been unveiling players and we started off 10 days ago with Samuel Osei Kufour. Now remember him? Uh, for you know his good works done for the Black Stars, he was a survivor from the 1990s and then played through to, throughout the 2006 World Cup, and you know was part of that team that made history by helping Ghana qualify for their first ever World Cup. And then we move to number nine. Still was a defender, one who partnered uh, Samuel Seiko for a couple of times in the Black Star setup. He was called the Rock of Gibraltar, and he was captain of the side as well, led from the back, was incredible throughout his peak as he shone for the Black Stars, especially in the World Cup and then the 2008 Africa Cup of Nations. Now to number eight, and still on defenders, now was John Peso, and he was the man with the weird sleeve combinations, had one full long sleeves and the other half. He was very consistent at the right back spot. And then number seven is Michael Asian, the bison himself, who controlled the midfield like no other. Number six, Christian Atu, they called him the Ghana Messi when he burst onto the scenes. Won two, uh, you know, made two Africa Cup of Nations team of this year, and then won the best AFCON player as well in 2015. And then number five, was Sule Ali Muntari. He had a wicked left foot, could literally score from anywhere, and he 
was number 10 or number 9 on the list in terms of Ghana's all-time top scorer, scoring 20 goals. And what would this list be without Ole Lekinson? Persevered from the 1990s till he became number one goalkeeper in 2006. And then number three, Captain Andre Dede. And uh, he has been a great player for the Black Stars. Currently Ghana's top scorer in the Africa Cup of Nations with nine goals. And his legacy is still being written with the Black Stars. Number two is Steven Apia. And he led the team... In a very difficult generation uh, where we came off the back of, you know, poor performances in 2002 and the 2000 AFCON. And he came in, settled the score and sent Black Stars to their first ever World Cup. Now, today we go to number one. And I'm sure you would have a clue as to who that is because you've probably not seen him in the list and the name of the player is Dramo. Yes, is Baby Jet Asamoajan, and he counts out as number one. Now the tricky thing is that most people will probably remember the Uruguay game when you see this picture. But just think of it this way: you have two choices in life. You can look at the bad and you can look at the good. Asamoajan gave us a hundred reasons to smile from his goal at the World Cup throughout his goal against England, and then his goal against Nigeria in the 2010, uh, you know, Africa Cup of Nations. Uh, he scored so many incredible goals. And re re just remember all the times that he made you smile as a striker. And, you know, remember some records of his as well. He's currently the only player on earth to score in nine consecutive tournaments. Cristiano Ronaldo has eight and would be hoping to break that in Euros 2021. But Samojan currently holds that record. And you would be seeing more of that in this article where it states that Jan is a global icon who was made for big occasions. And let's just look at the first two paragraphs uh, to whet your appetite to, you know, go to the My Joe Online Sports page to read it. So if we could probably scroll down and just take a look at the first few paragraphs. Yeah, so the first two paragraphs talk about you know, the background to the series. But then it comes down here and says, ask us some more what makes him great. And there will barely be a mention of his unbelievable hold up play, incredible understanding of space or his effortless finishing. His biggest asset over the years has been his strong mentality, especially in big games. And it goes on to describe how he scored his first World Cup goal and what it meant for him and how that was the beginning of history as he went on to score 51 goals for the Black Stars. Now, that's probably more than your favorite striker has done for his national team. So certainly, Jan does deserve some respect. And in case you're wondering, that record would take a long time for someone to break it because the second is the late Kwesi Owusu who was buried just last weekend and he has 36 goals for the Black Stars. And if you're wondering, a current player who is active in the setup, who is closest to Jan, you would have to come down to number 10 on the list and that's Andrea Yu, who has 17 goals. So imagine, Andre is 30 years and he scored 17 goals for the Black Stars in 90 appearances. And he has to catch up with Jan, who has 51 goals in a record 109 appearances for the Black Stars. It just shows how, how much of an impact that he's had with the national team setup. And that's why we chose to celebrate Baby Jet Asamojan number three. So the full article is on my joy online, the sports page. You can go there and read more about him. But that's the note on which we'll be ending the sport here. Remember at 8 a.m. we have a special documentary for you about Heart of Folk who are attending 109 today. But then their anthem has been throwing a little bit of tantrum around. As people are confused as to whether it's a rise a rise or it's a rose a rose. What exactly are the lyrics of Heart's anthem? We'll be finding out at 8 o'clock, so do stay tuned to watch that as well. My name is Ore Kwampofo and the AM show continues right after this.